calm and dreamy waters can become raging seas and nightmares in a matter of minutes. But the thing with nightmares, there's always an opportunity to wake up. I came close to death last year. I also lost my father. My mother got diagnosed with breast cancer and friends passed away. It's been tough, but not as tough as the others have had it. Breathing to stay present and appreciation of what is, is important. And it helps to have gratitude for the good in life. The small things like Fuji Films X Series X-T5 camera. It is so small, smaller even than the X-T4, making it more unobtrusive and easy to create images of people doing good stuff. And there is a lot of good, especially in the small Australian coastal town of Aladala. Based in the commercial fishing harbour, there's a small group of marine rescue volunteers who patrol an area roughly 3,500 square kilometres of ocean and travel as far out as 30 nautical miles offshore. And because of people like them, who volunteer to risk their lives 24-7 to save others, there are many families out there who still have each other to hug. They're humble people like Marine Rescue Unit Commander John Somolsky, a former Air Commodore in the Royal Australian Air Force. John's career spanned 35 years with deployments in Somalia, Iraq and Afghanistan, just to name a few. And his set of skills are invaluable. By profession, I was a navigator, so um, top pilots where to go. Coordinating the mission, planning the mission, um, working out how to uh, evade threats or people trying to shoot you down. And people like retiree Leslie Kelly, who forged her career in the male-dominated maritime shipping industry and who at a level four master is the highest qualified skipper at the unit. Well, I started out as a girl living on the coast that liked going sailing, really. Well, I retired at 60 and I moved back here because this is my hometown where I grew up and lived here for 20 odd years. I'd been working up in Northern Australia um, when I got back here, I decided I'd come down and have a talk to Marine Rescue and joined up. So I've been with them here now since 2015. Marine Rescue comes under the umbrella of New South Wales State Emergency Services and is a not-for-profit organisation. The volunteers get some grants but work hard fundraising themselves in order to stay operational. They not only save lives, but they also raise the funds to be able to do it. But there are rewards. They are humans who utilise their accumulated life skills to give generously to their community, but they do worry for the future. We're lucky, life teaches us to hang on, even in treacherous weather. On the way out to open seas to do rescue training, there was no choice but to hold on tight as the 38-foot steamer rescue boat named Aladella 30 powered at 27 knots through the big swell. The steamer carved the waves into white sprays, saturating the weather-resistant X-T5 along with the Fujinon XF 18mm, and this wasn't an issue. I remember as a child I wanted to be a photographer so that I could show people other ways of looking at things, deeper things and complex stories. Fuji Films Across YE film simulation setting was too good not to indulge in this environment. Shooting on boats with big cameras has been a challenge in the past, but with the X-T5 it was incredibly easy. Being so compact with fast autofocus meant I could literally shoot one-handed while I held on. The X-T5 carries forward the X-Series camera's tradition of no PSA-M mode dials, 
It's what got me hooked all those years ago. It's a digital camera that remains authentic to the true tradition of photography. I shoot manually, so adjusting quickly is second nature to me. During this life's journey, it is more often than not the quality of the small things that we do along the way that creates the biggest impact in life. It's stepping away from thinking and just being. It is clarity like looking through the X-T5's electronic viewfinder and feeling connected to the space. With the natural light from the window, I use the Fujinon 30mm f2.8 and the Fujinon XF 56mm. The quality from both lenses is nothing less than exciting. I was especially blown away by the petite size of the lenses, the quality of the images and the versatility of the 30mm macro. There was a real sense of intimacy created by the X-T5 and the lenses. Early the next morning, I managed to coax some of the rescue crew into the water barefoot for a portrait. While there is composition and reflection in the images, noticing the invisible and the visible is the most important. Photography is part of my life's journey. It is a vehicle into a world of insights and finding the greater good. The Aladella Marine Rescue Crew are part of the greater good. They are capable, resourceful and from an older generation who as a society we literally can't live without and we need more of them. And for a modern society that is so obsessed about being noticed, it is refreshing to have the X-T5 that doesn't draw attention to itself but simply creates attention by the quality of its work. And in so doing pays homage to the tradition of real photography something else for me to have gratitude for.